Congratulations, viewer, you've made it to part 11. That's right, you've made it to part 11, guys. And what does that mean? That means that you know how to use the program. You know how to use Adobe Premiere Pro. This is up and running. This is my up and running series. Basically, once you know how to do the stuff I showed you, you can edit videos. There's nothing holding you back. So give yourself a big round of applause. Again, I think, I don't know. You, you guys you guys are super awesome right now, okay? I mean, if you've been practicing, if you've been following along, you are pretty spectacular right now. So let's go ahead and get started on how to render out a video. Let me just go ahead and slap something together real quick, and I'll skip to that part of the video. All right, so I just made, I just edited this video really quick. All I did was got my video, faded it in, cross faded it out, and then I added constant gain in and out onto the audio. So that's all it does. It fades in with a transparent watermark, and uh, yeah, it's a pretty simple video. It's what like seven, about almost eight seconds long, I guess. So there are a few ways that you can render this video out. All right. The first way is to just render out this video completely. And this is if you're like, all right, this is my final render. This is what I want to do. But stay tuned because I'm going to show you how to render out just a section of your video if you want to sample out uh, your video, okay? So here we go. We're going to go to File, Export, Media. File, Export, Media. And then what you want to do is go over, these are the settings that I personally use, okay? So you can't go wrong if you use the settings that I'm using here. Format, I change it to QuickTime. Yes, I upload QuickTime. Now, depending on whether you have 720p video or 1080p video, you're going to change this preset. I know mine is 720, so I'm going to go over to 720p right here. All right, and that's pretty much it. I mean, you can bump up this quality to 100, and it'll tell you about the estimated file size here. Okay, and you can change any of these settings if you want. Limit data rate to actually, I'm going to bump this up to about. Uh, 10,000 okay so it's gonna go up to about 9 megabytes and let's see here everything looks pretty good yeah everything looks pretty good so make sure it's 1280 by 720 cool h.264 codec I mean it's this is a preset thing okay it's, it's really preset the only things I changed were the quality settings and the uh, bitrate settings so if you have it set up like that you should be good to rock Make sure the source range is to entire sequence. This way it renders out your entire video because let's say you have in and out points on your timeline and you set it to in and out, it's only going to render whatever yeah, is right there on the in and out points. You can either queue it, which will add it to the media encoder, and I'll show you that in a different video, or you could just full blown export it. So let's do that. Okay, so now my video is rendered out pretty sweet, and here it is the file. And if I double click that or open it with uh, VLC Media Player or whatever you have, I can see my video perfectly done. This is actually the file that you will upload to YouTube. So that's pretty standard, right? Pretty cool. But what we can do here is go into our timeline here and I can set in and out points. So I for in point and O for out point, okay? And you can see it starts in the middle of the video. Awesome. And if I go back over to export media, now I can do sequence in and out. It's automatically there. See how we have these arrows here that we can change, okay? Yes, you can change the in and out points right here in the video, but to get a fine tune selection, you might want to do it in the timeline itself, okay? All right, congratulations. I know this was a short video, right? I mean, the learning process of this video particularly was really short. You learned how to render out videos, and I, I do QuickTime, and if you really want to dive into it, if you don't want to use QuickTime, you can easily go to H.264, which is a great file type to save out as. Just play around with these render, render settings. I mean, it all just changes based on whether your client wants a AVI file, an MOV file, uh, whatever they want, MP4. It all just depends on what they want. So you just kind of have to go through here. But again, I use QuickTime and I use the preset right here, 720p, bump this up to 100. And I'm pretty much set besides that and change this bit rate to about 10,000. 10,000 or 14,000 is what I usually use. And uh, there you go. So congratulations again. You've made it through the Adobe Premiere Pro series where you have gotten up and running how to, first of all, you are probably a complete noob. If you didn't know how to use this program, you're a complete noob. You didn't even know how to get something on the timeline, and now you do, all the way up to the point where you're now rendering out videos for yourself, and you can now upload to YouTube, to Vimeo, to whatever video service you want to upload to. So congratulations one more time. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Now, if you've enjoyed this series, and I really hope you have, I try to make it as non-boring as possible. Uh, you can also check out another series of mine, because it'll be the same style. You know, I mean, hey, it's just me, Jerry. I, I do the same style, I guess. I'm going to be making a Photoshop series. So be prepared for that. You're going to know how to use Photoshop from the beginning to, well, Photoshop is an interesting program because it doesn't really take stages like video editing to really get something out of Photoshop. It's just kind of editing. So if you really do need a series on how to use Photoshop, guess what? I have one planned out and I'm going to start recording that right after I actually render out these videos and, and whatnot. So there you go. Thank you guys again for watching. Uh, remember to thumb up, comment, subscribe, and share this series if you like it anyway helps me a lot please comment below if uh, to tell me what you thought of it overall I would really 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 appreciate that thanks for watching guys